Home shelter and safe room manufacturers report a boom in business after a tornado last week killed one person in a town just south of St. Louis. The now KC's Tara Hall shows us how some metro residents are getting ready in case disaster strikes Kansas City. Off a gravel road in Harrisonville, Missouri. This is for home. Mike Vote sells something he hopes buyers never have to use. The odds are in your favor. I'll, I'll be honest. If you mathematically figure it out, the odds are in your favor. But if you have no place to go, when they come through, they're incredibly devastating. Staying Home Corporation manufactures storm shelters that bolt into cement slab. People without basements rely on these during tornado season, and even those with basements buy them as an added level of security. These shelters are something that are uh, forgotten about as long as there isn't any significant weather, and then people get concerned to try to, to uh, that they want to react very quickly when the weather starts. The phones have started ringing. Um, people are on alert, and once something like that happens, people start to pick up the phone and call. That's what's happened in a week since an EF4 tornado touched down in Perryville, Missouri. Now people are hyper aware that severe weather season is here to stay for the next six months or so. So they need to be prepared. We've been looking at snow and focused on that. And now, as we saw the last day of February, out of the blue came severe weather. So uh, we want to make sure that everybody's prepared ahead of time and uh, ready to go with the new se uh, sp spring season coming on. And while they say a storm shelter isn't necessary, having some place to shelter the storm is. Just make sure you decide on that place before the storm strikes. Reporting in Harrisonville, Missouri, I'm Tara Hall, the Now KC. Now, experts say having a safe place to go in, is, isn't enough. You also need to have supplies to last everybody in your family at least three days. We're talking blankets, bottled water, packaged foods, battery-powered electronics like flashlights and weather radios. Another tip you may not think about, a loud whistle. So in case something does happen and you're trapped below debris, crews can hear you in a worst-case scenario.